But this mess up with the A-levels isn't just a mess and a chaos for individual students, but also for their schools, also for their uh, parents, but also for the future of our higher education and our universities as well. So this problem is just continuing to ripple outwards, and I don't think we've seen the end of the chaos it has created yet. The centre assessed grades were never going to be perfect. We do know that. And there is a difference between a centre assessed grade and a teacher assessment because centre assessed grades are moderated within the school or the academy trust as opposed to just a teacher deciding, you know, arbitrarily what grade that student is going to get. And that is the only way we can go forward. Because let's just say those 24,000 students want to appeal their grades. Let's be honest, what capacity have Ofqual got to process 24,000 applications for appeals in a timely fashion that still enables those students to enrol in university in the next couple of weeks? Let's be honest, they won't. They can't. It's impossible. Therefore, the only way forward, the only timely way forward is to make sure those students have those centre assessed grades so they can get on to the next stage of their educational journey. I think we have to put what's happening with universities into the bigger picture. Universities are facing a really precarious financial situation. The IFS have already said 13 universities are at risk of future bankruptcy. Many universities are looking to make decisions on what they're going to do in terms of setting their budget on the basis of the student numbers they get right now. So let's think about this in the whole. Universities don't have the space or the time or, the, or they just simply can't wait and see how many students are going to be coming through their door. They need to know now so that they can plan for that year. And this is what makes this problem even worse, because if, for example, governments have promised to underwrite universities and offer them the financial security they need, they might be a bit more relaxed and able to say, well, actually, we can wait a few months for the appeals process to be worked out. But the government haven't done that. So universities need to know the student numbers they have now so that they can sort out their own futures. Well, I think politicians always like to score points on one another, but this moment is about pupils. This moment is about children. Right now, Gavin Williamson should not be focused on saving his own skin. He should be focused on getting the GCSE results sorted out for those pupils on Thursday.